I am conducting a thorough investigation on what really happened on my OP Pogon Japonicos. Hi, welcome, and you are watching another episode of Sivanga 360 in Motion. My four year old OP Pogon Japonicos, or more commonly known as Japanese Mondograss, has withered. You see more of this grass in gardens and pathways, which is good for ground cover landscaping and beautification. It adds a wide green expanse wherever it is planted. It is easy to grow and cultivate per my experience. I took for granted the sign when the vibrant and healthy green luster of my dwarf potted green green grass just by the doorstep slowly turned brown, a sign it was wilting, drying and dying. I can recall now that the first mother plant of this mondograss was given by a friend which I planted originally in a small potting container. When the mondo grass expanded and needed more growing space, I transferred it to a container similar to this black one and thrived well and good. Four years ago, I rescued the grass from its eventual demise by removing it from the pot, cleaning the roots and removing the wilted leaves and stems. I soaked it in water for a little while and new growth appeared eventually. That was the time I replanted it on a new pot. It thrived for four years. So based on my experience, the Monte grass need to be replanted and distributed to several pots to allow it to grow continuously. Now I am back to the same situation. I thought I can do it all over again and regrow the grass one more time and this will be the second time if lucky enough. So here, I will be checking out the plant, remove it from its spot, remove the soil, clean the roots, and check if there is any sign I can salvage some and regrow the mundo grass one more time. The soil is still damp because I watered it for a few days. Okay, the roots has really spread about the potting container. This is a tedious process. I have to make sure most of the clumped soil is removed from the roots. Hopefully, I can find some possible candidate to regrow after this. Compared to my previous rescue work of the mondo grass four years ago, the leaves of this are drier, including the tiny stems. I am losing hope that I will find any small amount of the grass to become the startup seedling. But keeping my fingers crossed, I will soak a clump and take a chance. I will make an update if I find one and if I do, we'll make a short progress report months from now. Now that I'm done, it is your turn. Please subscribe, watch more of our videos, leave comments, like this video and hit the notification bell so you get notified once I post a new video. Thanks and see you next time.